Hey guys, my name is Bob Lune and welcome back to another video. Today we are playing, I'm showing you guys a game that I had just a couple minutes ago. Uh, I just, I had to edit this instantly when I got this game. 156,000 damage guys in the Conqueror. And that doesn't happen very often. Uh, I don't play this ship often at all, but I do enjoy it, you know, once in a while. So the Conqueror is an HE ship in my opinion. A lot of people say that you should be using the AP. I think there are certain situations where you should, yes, but mainly I would use HE. And in this game we got here, there are three German ships. Um, oh, sorry, there's two German heavy cruisers, the Secret and Aegea, and there's also a lion. So there's, <laughs> it's just easy pickings with, you know, these ships because they light on fire very easily. And we just got to sit in the base and camp. So for my elite bonus, I take elite gun operator because it's the best, I think. Yeah, and uh, for the equipment, I have main battery mod 3, I run propulsion, and then I have the legendary mod. Now, the legendary mod, I would advise against. It, it does give some good things in terms of steering and maneuvering, but I would take surface detection since that's kind of like the meta build. And the reason I take dispersion mod is because on HE ships such as Sao, Goliath, this one, Conqueror, I want to be hitting all my shells to maximize my chances of getting a fire. And, you know... You can take whatever you want in the gun mod. You could also take, you know, traverse or reload. But I would just suggest you take dispersion mod if you want to use HE. Now, the commander Horatio Nelson is a very good commander. Uh, or Horatio Nelson. He gives this uh, battle signal special skill. That, as you can see, increases traverse speed. And also on the torpedoes. And dispersion when you're above 60%. He boosts these two other skills. Victorious charge, repairs. And then there's exploit weakness, which you need to have. Uh, these two here work in conjunction well, um, you know, that's why I picked that. And then Adrenaline Rush Plus is also a thing. That's very nice. And even he even has Demolition Expert because this thing is a, it's a good command. Horatio Nelson gives a lot of good skills. But if you didn't have him, I would take Fire Supremacy. Um, no doubt that's the best skill because you, you do have Rapid Reload 2 on the Conqueror. And that's very good to, for setting fires. Other than that, I have, of course, I have HE+, because it's insane with this captain. And then Horizontal Protection Expert. So yeah, that's pretty much my setup. And um, yeah, I'm not going for Citadels. That's why I don't pick, you know, the, uh, inc the increase to Citadels. All right, so here we are in the game. And we are playing with Torplim and Frigate Captain from the fleet Corsairs, my fleet. And uh, yeah, we're playing versus this division as you can see there's no bots so it's a legit game legit record game very nice um, and we're playing versus those two german battle cruisers now these guys are gonna you know they're gonna get hurt because these guns are pretty 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 damn good they are 420 millimeters and you know the he still hurts even if it doesn't set fires if you hit all your shells which we actually pretty much did the whole game it was a very I was very accurate on my on my shooting this day, so or, t or today. Um, you know, sometimes you're good, sometimes you're not, and we all have those good days and bad days. And this was really a nice one. So as you can see, the Conqueror has Rapid Reload too. Now, the Rapid Reload is just a nice skill to have when you are a an HE ship. Um, you're kind of forced to be with this that that's why you have this um because you can easily you know set a fire if somebody damage controls and that is a very very important thing when you're playing conqueror and any he ship is to abuse people's tendency to you know damage control after one fire and another thing guys never start you know don't don't ever just not shoot at dds because look at that shimikaze he just disappeared <laughs> shoot those dds and conqueror is great at it, it it's you know it's it's kind of just it's not as good as colombo i would say but it's definitely up there but yeah very important like i was talking about we have to you know use the the, the opportunity to light somebody you know on fire when we see them damage control for example this lion here he's gonna you know he's gonna be out here alone but soon his teammates are gonna come support him and we're gonna be shooting, you know, at both of them. But watch this salvo here. We, we were aiming at the lion and watch how many fires we get. Three fires, we hit 11 shells and they both are set on fire. 
I asked the CV to come over here now pronto and he already is so that's very good. That's something you can also do if you're an HE ship or a DD or something. You know somebody damage controlled. You know, tell the CV, come over here, there's free damage because he can probably easily set a fire. But there we go, now we got the Lion on a permafire and the Aegir, he burned the whole double fire out. So that was very <laughs> sad for him. So we're just going to keep pounding these guys with long range artillery. And as you can see, like we actually have pretty good range with the Conqueror. It's not a, it's not a bad ship, but this is also a small map, of course. And watch who's going to come out here and, you know, just give us free damage, fully broadside. I wish I would have had AP. I, I instantly swap after my shot. And, you know, <laughs> you know still, we, we got a double fire and, you know, he's, he's going to be burning now. So we're also very lucky this game. The, the RNG and the fact that most of these guys were all <laughs> on perma damage con all the time. You know, we, we just got so much fire damage. We get, get our AP salvo off and, you know, I'm thinking it's probably not going to hit. But look at that. Mm. Mm. Chunky Conqueror AP. Don't, you know, don't neglect your AP on this ship, guys. Um, I know a lot of people think that the uh, Conqueror AP is better than, it, you know, its reputation. And I would agree with that, you know, but but I just love the HE. Uh, look, at, look at this secret here. He's going to get chunked. Big, big HE chunk. Two fires. Now he's on damage con. And we're just going to sail away, show as little broadside as possible, because remember, the Siegfried is a 380mm meter cruiser, although he is firing HE at us, I don't know why. You know, the, the, the tankiness of Conqueror is not very good, so when you're fighting something like a Yamato or Vermont, you just have to be really careful, and that's when you have to angle a lot, because you do not want to get hit by those guys. So we're kind of uh, out of range of anything here, we can't really shoot any of these guys but luckily we did get a kind of blind shot you know max range salvo on the in the lion and it's gonna burn it's a permafire <laughs> and now the Siegfried shows up I don't know what he's you know thinking to achieve here but yeah goodbye <laughs> get chunked instant triple fire and the, the lion is still burning it's beautiful oh yeah oh he just stopped okay so 122k and there's still an almost full health A gear out there, and the, the line is still alive, so... Okay, what to shoot here? What to shoot here? I actually wait and hold my shot because I see the planes coming in, so... There's no reason to not be ready at the perfect moment, and watch, here they are. So, the lion gets two, the A gear gets two, and then we hope for maximum fire damage. Lion goes down, A gear gets two hits, so not the most efficient salvo, but... It is something you can do when you're playing, especially HE spammers or HE ships. You know, shoot at different targets to kind of see how many how many fires you actually can get. Uh, sometimes you get really lucky and <laughs> get double fires on both of them. But now it's just him left, and here's one fire. I'm pretty sure he damaged cons this. Yeah, he does. And guys, look at our fire count. It is insane. 16, guys. 16 fires and 3 damage modules. And here comes another very, very chunky salvo. Look at the dispersion there. You don't you don't need precise aim on a ship like Conqueror, but look at that. Permafire again. And where the damage is just ticking up. 145,000 now. It's I was, you know, sitting at the edge of my seat, completely cracked. I wanted I'm I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. I wanted to, you know, see if I can get even more damage, but the problem is when you have good teammates, they uh, they also, you know, know how to do damage. Um so, we get the kill and 156,000. Well played by my teammates, Torplum and Frigate Captain. It's nice to see, you know, when a CV actually knows what he's doing. And Torplum demonstrated that perfectly. You can, you can really, you know, increase your chances of winning by working with your CV. It's very powerful. So, there we see. We're going to check out the battle details. Look at that. 17 fires. 120,000 main battery damage. So it wasn't all fires, it was mainly my main battery. But uh, yeah, not bad at all. Alright, so here we are, and this is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and um, I hope you learned something new if you're considering playing the Conqueror. It is, you know, a very fun ship in my opinion. I always enjoy it when I play it. Although it isn't often, uh, you know, that might just be because I don't really play Battleship that often, but... 
that's it for the video. Uh, like I said, thank you guys for watching. My name has been Bob Lune, signing out.